Hello again. So this week we are making kombucha, which it is in Uganda. And just to get right into it, uh, we have 5.6 liters of water, 200 grams of sugar, and 8 tea bags. Okay, so you need to stir this up, like really, really, really get into it so that the sugar doesn't, I don't know, is it crystallize? It doesn't burn at the bottom as it's boiling. And after it has boiled, let it cool. Alternatively, you can boil half the water and use the other half of drinking water so that you don't have to wait for it to cool. And then you need to add it to a container that has a scoby in it and you need to already have some kombucha some already fermented kombucha to quicken the fermentation process yeah you should probably get your tea bags out first Okay, so here I'm just showing you um, the kombucha I already have in the jar. And my scoby, which is what you use to ferment the tea. Yeah, so my, my pine is still orange from the turmeric beer. It's sad that turmeric can do that to our lives. So you need to cover up your jars with some sort of breathable cloth. I honestly just use those shopping bags they give you. You know, the ones that are healthier alternative to caveras, to polythene bags. And just uh, get a thread and tie it, secure it, make sure the cloth doesn't fly away. Because the clothes are really, um, what I'm using is really light. And also to make sure no insects get in. Because they will try, because they sugar in the liquid. So I'm just getting the date in there. You can leave it to ferment for about a week. And then you can check on it seven days later. That's my scoby. Another layer has grown on top. And just transfer that to a container that can allow the pressure to build up. A container you can carbonate in. I'm just reusing old soda bottles here. And then you leave it to carbonate for about two days and refrigerate it. And yeah, you're good to go. So I filled up two, two soda bottles. That's four liters. So then after that, you want to keep your scobies in some kombucha still to keep them alive because you'll need them the next time you need to make another batch of kombucha. So I hope you'll be able to make your own soda now or under SCOBY in case you want to look that up is it's an acronym for Symbiotic Culture of Bacteria and Yeast. Thank you.